what we have is uh, this Venn diagram and multiple layers in the map. So today we will see like how to make all this. And uh, as usual, the data sources from Tableau by default, like sample superstore data. First, let me start with the Venn diagram. So before going into this, so this Venn diagram, what it explains is like how many customers are from East and how many customers have purchased from West. And in total, like from both regions, how many people have purchased something like that. So yeah, this is what this Venn diagram says and we'll just see how to make this. So, yeah, that's it. Um, axis, first uh, we will create a common axis. If uh, region These two nulls are because of the rest of the region, central and west. We will just hide the indicator. Customer. Count the customer. And label. We will also try to put the region in label. the label just will try to put them inside by when you <coughs> when you want to change the alignment just click the label and there will be operation uh, there will be option for alignment currently it's automatic we'll change it center and middle yeah so now we got uh, the east and west how many in total now we'll try to get in common like uh, the customers who purchase from both east and west before that just we'll try to pull the customer name and we'll filter this only to east and west. <clears throat> okay, so now here we can see like some customers have purchased only from east and some from west. We'll just try to think and uh, write about a calculated field just to get the customers who are purchased from both east and west. So create calculated field. So we need to write use LOD at an customer name level. So fixed customer name. Okay. Then if region if it is equal to east. As we know, the LOD syntax is fixed dimension. We have to do give aggregation here. So just some we will give. Actually, there won't be any significance if you give some or average whatever. So some we can close it. If it is greater than zero. Okay, after if condition in the calculation is valid. Hey, um, Jeram, what's with the greater than zero at the end? Uh, 
so the greater than zero what it does is like uh, if region is equal to is then it will give uh, one and and this greater than zero what it does is it's a kind of boolean if it is greater than zero it will be automatically taking it as true oh okay okay zero, we are getting actually generally we used to write then true else false and all but in w like if you give greater than zero it will automatically understand it as boolean okay got it got it. so this is basically it's uh, the result end result is boolean right ah uh, yeah so okay. you can see here so for the one which is in east for example here east and it's true so here it's there in west there is nothing in east so it's showing null and similarly if you see here uh hmm. russell it's like only in east and we are getting true so this is yeah. the basic idea behind the logic now we yeah. will try to edit it uh, for west as well we'll copy the same thing solution and, and so if both the condition is true then show so now here we can change, see the difference earlier it was showing true here because we wrote a condition only for east now the, now we edited the condition in such a way if the reach of sales both in east and west then show me true so here now we can see only where when there is a sales in both east and west there only we get true So now we'll go to the next level. Now we got the logic, but we have to return the number of customers. So what we'll do is we'll use if condition on top of these two conditions. If this and this, then customer name. Then return with the customer name. Then. So now we got the customer name. <coughs> Yeah. So now, combine field with your zero. We will just pull them here, but we no need the name. Instead, we need the count string. Okay. Sorry. First, we will create axis just a one or zero something. Now here we will pull the combine here. Amend as text, and we will remove remaining all. We no need any of this, and we'll change the circle to text. Yeah. Text. Yeah. We'll make it right. Right. Okay, now just do a like this, and reduce the width. Yeah, uh, reduce the opacity. Sound is decent. <coughs> Add some bars. Now just. Hide uh, these headers. Yeah, this is just awesome here. This visualization, super. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you can just uh, apply filters and just done this. Uh, there won't be any change in like uh, in this or something. So in year two thousand nineteen, this is the stat. Yeah, this is the first one I add for you guys. Any doubts? <coughs> okay. So next we will move to multi-layer okay. map. No, actually one quick question. Sorry. Uh, just uh, go back to yeah. that and show the axis again, please, once. Axis. Just turn on the axis. This, huh? Uh, 
Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay. How did you turn it on, by the way? Just uh, if you go near the pill, click Show Header. Once you answer. Show Header. Tag. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Understood. Okay. Understood. Understood. Okay. So the one, two, and the combined. Okay. Got it. Okay. Cool. Super cool. Okay. uh okay so essentially what we did was for one we put them uh, in the east and for two we put them on the other one right and uh, so the fi- the 501 you calculated and you sort of put them in the middle right uh, how how did the 501 fi- fi- uh, yeah. come in so the middle much. by the way can you just tell me that uh so just uh, i gave you a field one okay. just for him name sake okay So, got it, got it. And, okay and and then it will exist and okay. i didn't synch- synch- synchronize maybe you can give okay. 1.5 ah oh, okay, okay okay if you want exactly at center and now if you synchronize you will get you will get it okay okay understand i i got it now okay that's clear so next uh, we will just see how to make multi layers in map uh, so here the map is currently colored by some of sales and the size circle which over is it is it says about the whether it's profit or loss the size says the about the quantity and the color says about whether it's profit or loss yeah gray is like profit and red is like loss and also here we have one more feature once if you click customer name what it does is uh, as usual the uh, sales will be shown in the area and the dot which are you are seeing on top of each uh, state it says about like how many customers are there in the um, each sales versus customer and next is sales versus profit or loss uh that's the thing we will just try to make out to so <clears throat> straight okay you know it can do it out now, now first uh, once if you double tap on state it will automatically come to the details tab and longitude and latitude will automatically goes to columns and rows now we just want to color it by sales so some sales on color so this is the first layer we got next we want Uh, to show the customer id like how many customers are there in each state so for that we will just pull the latitude here so now we have two latitudes in one we are showing the sum sales in next one we will show about the uh we will show the number of customers so customer name this right click pull it to size and you count these things okay So, so now we got the customer in each state. We will, we will access it, and we'll just increase the size even more. So now we are, we'll, we are able to see the sales versus the number of customers in each state. So you can see the legend here. So California has the greatest max sales, and it's also understandable that there are more number of customers. So one. So here, uh, simply like similar to other charts, we just did a dual axis, but we did the dual axis on latitude. Yeah. So next, uh, jumping to the ne- next feature. Here, uh, in this chart feature I made, here I just use the parameter to show profit and uh, profit. If you want to just click the profit here, we will show state versus profit and. Once you click customer name, it will show the how many customers are there in each state. So we will try to create a parameter and use it. Create parameter uh, integer list. We'll just go one and two. So it's easy to write calculated field rather than giving input as string. So one means customer and two is like profit. So now we have created the parameter. We'll just give u by r something. U by. Okay. U by. Uh, show parameter. Now we got the parameter. Now we have to use this in some calculated field. So create calculated field. U by selection. If u uh, by equal to one, 
then give me the count distinct customer customer name okay else if you buy is equal to 2 then give me the profit then so now we use the parameter and we wrote a uh, calculated field instead of count it distinct customer name here we will put it to size and once you change it to profit or loss accordingly the thing will change now the next task is to now we got to see like what is the quantity based on size but we have to we are not sure whether it's profit or loss so we have to distinguish between profit or loss for that we will use like a color sign there is a function on a sign if it is positive value it will give red one and if it is negative it will give minus one so sign u by selection and once you pull it to color you can just see the red ones are like loss and the blue ones are like profit so you can see here in illinois though sales is more than rest of the states which is light colored but it's still a loss so here we will be able to analyze uh, the sales versus profit so the color which is begin which is assigned for each set it's like 922457000 and uh, the dot which you are seeing is like profit or loss so this, this is what i have uh, for customer name once you select customer name it will just show how the how many customers are there in each state and once you select profit it will show the profit or loss even we can name the headers dynamic by using the same parameter sales versus insert parameters view by okay. so sales versus profit or sales versus customer name so <coughs> any doubts Uh, so I have a doubt. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, um, see. So, I've go ahead. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, you, you, when you are showing profit, so the dot uh, are they telling the intensity of the profit, or it's, it's just telling uh, that the profit, it's profit. No, it's telling loss. about the intensity. For example, in California, if you see seventy six thousand, and here it's like only three thousand. It also says about the intensity. I think intensity is by size here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, test it is by side. And the sign. Color. color says whether it's profit or loss. Red one is like negative profit, which is loss. Okay. So you can see in color order, it's like minus six thousand five twenty eight. So it's like a loss. Okay, got it. 